Prince Rakim? I want that money. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark and I'm back with another video and today I will be talking about Wu-Tang in American Saga Season 1 Episode 9. This is the recap. You guys let me know what you felt about last night's episode. Leave your predictions, theories, everything below and I'm going to try to go over this as quickly as possible. If I miss anything, make sure you leave it down below. Let me know what I miss. But overall, this was a solid episode. Um, a lot of information to talk about. Now we begin the episode with a new character, Attila. And this guy is just fresh out of prison. And he's coming back to take back the block, in my opinion. He's striking fear in everybody. He's even pissed off at his boy for not putting any money on his books while he was locked up. Smashes his head into the window. Um, gets out the car, starts shooting up right in the air. Everybody knows that he is back and that he's not to be messed with. You know what I'm saying? So this is a character that we know we're going to continue to see throughout the episode. And we know he's going to cause some trouble. Now, Bobby, he's having a conversation with Monica about possibly staying on Tommy Boy. But she don't want to hear it. She, didn't, she does not want to hear it. Um, she even explains that they're looking for groups. And he's like, look, I got a group, Wu-Tang. Let's, let's make business. She's not trying to hear that all says, you know, I'm sorry. It's not going to work out. I mean, it's kind of messed up because he did everything that they wanted to do and they didn't even give him an opportunity to do things the way he wanted to do now we see gary bobby's cousin gary he's signing on to his label um they have the same manager andre um and it seems like gary is doing pretty good now andre this dude is dirty he pretty much plays bobby bobby's still trying to work with him but andre plays him talking about you owe me um i ain't got time for you no more i'm trying to deal with my other clients so now bobby he understands that this dude is dirty and that he's going to have to pretty much learn how to run his own shit in the future. Now, as I told you, this Attila guy is dangerous. Um, you guys let me know down below. Is this, do you know anything about this guy? Is he a special character or what? Because everybody's scared of him. He's robbing people left and right, um, causing all types of trouble throughout this whole show. And like I said, he's going to be a problem. Now, Dennis makes a huge mistake, in my opinion. He's out here robbing his customers because he's so desperate. Like, come on, Dennis. You got to be smarter than that. You know what I'm saying? Now you're going to have to worry about this dude probably going back, telling people you messing up clientele out there. But, hey, he's desperate, and he did what he felt like he had to do. But I think it's stupid, and I think it's dangerous and risky. Now, we see Dennis. He's watching the Wu-Tang. He's watching Sha Lan versus Wu-Tang movie. And what he, he's going to be doing is watching this movie throughout the whole episode. He's taking elements out this movie and he's going to be using them. You know what I'm saying? He's learning those lessons that this movie is teaching. It's crazy because they was actually talking about best friend sleeping with the sister and stuff like that. And it was going back and forth. It's very similar to the stuff that he's going through. And he was pissed off that his brothers was laughing. But hey, it is what it is. It was the truth. Now we see Sha and Power and your boy Sha is hyped. You know what I'm saying? He see Bobby, um, Pritz, Rakim. No, not Rock, not Rakim, but Rakim. Let me get it straight. And, uh, he's hyped that he's all on TV. He's blowing up and stuff like that. But little do he know, your boy Bobby has been dropped from the label. But it still hypes up Sha. He still wants to make it in the game. And Power and Shy, they go and talk to Cressy. And you know, you already know what it's about. It's about business. It's nothing about music at first, but then all of a sudden, your boy Cressy and all of them start talking about music. He tell Shy to go over there and start spitting some bars. So Shy goes over there, he's spitting bars. And Cressy's like, man, this dude is a star. He's talking to Power like, look, did you know you had a star the whole time? You know what I'm saying? So they started to see the talent of Shy. Um, eventually, he's going to blow up, a.k.a. Ghostface Killer. He's going to blow up, man. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to see him actually get the credit he deserves. Now, we see these fans, and they pretty much want autographs, and they want to know how much Bobby made, how much did Prince Hakeem make. He tells them 60 bands, and that's a huge mistake. You should never even said anything about how much money you make. It didn't take long for your boy Attila to find out exactly how much money he thinks 
Bobby made. We know Bobby probably ain't got shit from that. And it's quite obvious he didn't. But Attila doesn't care. And he's plotting and planning on his next robbery. I mean, this dude is just straight dangerous. He's big. And he's strapped up. Now, Bobby, he's studying. He is making sure that he's studying some self-knowledge. He's studying the Supreme 120 Lessons, um, just teaching him about life, self-knowledge. He's going to use the elements from this book and use it in the group Wu-Tang. Um, now, while Bobby was studying, your boy Attila made his move. He busts and breaks into the house. Bobby, just he gets up out of there. You know what I'm saying? The dog's barking. Bobby saw him with the gun. He's like, look, I'm up out of there. I ain't about to even fight this dude. Now, Attila destroys the house. He can't find no money at all. He know Bobby supposedly has money since he was signed and he thinks he's a star, but he doesn't find anything. The only thing he does find is Bobby's music, which is more valuable to Bobby than money. And this is going to be a huge problem. Now, we see your girl, Cherie. She's back. We didn't see him last episode. The family seems okay. They're having dinner and everything like that back in Ohio. And all of a sudden, Cherie has to go. And once she was looking, making that funny looking face, I knew it. I knew she was pregnant. And this secret is going to come out. The whole Cherie and Dennis secret will be coming out very soon because now you can't hide it. Just like that movie, everybody's going to know. It's going to get crazy, man. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. I had a feeling they was going to save it to the season finale as well. Now... Bobby goes and gets Divine, and he comes in there with a hammer. Like, what is that hammer going to do in a gunfight? But I understand. He, he came in there with something. Bobby realizes that his music is stolen. Divine is pretty much telling him, hey, you can make more music. Bobby's like, dude, like, really? He's pissed off. We see Bobby get a call from Attila, and he's pretty much telling him, if you want your music back, I need that 60K. So now Bobby's going to have to figure out how to get this money. He wants his music back. Um, he's very pissed off. It's been a bad episode for him, man. Then we see your boy Shy. He's in the studio, about to spit bars. Now, this girl was showing him a whole lot of attention, a lot of attention, and we know something's up. We know something's up with this girl, Elise Power New. Now, of course, Shy goes in there. He's spitting bars. Everybody's loving what he's doing. All of a sudden, your boy Power walks in, and he's like, look, I got to talk to you. So Cressy let him leave. They go talk. It wasn't even two minutes. Next thing we know, the boys are pulling up. Now, Power, I don't know how he knew, but he knew that those girls, or at least the one that was talking to Shy, was undercover. The boy Power knew that there was some undercover cops, and luckily they got up out of there. Now, I don't know what Cressy's gonna, how Cressy's going to feel, but if I'm Cressy, I would think that's kind of funny that all of a sudden, as soon as um, Power comes in there and tells him to leave, I get arrested. It's going to be some issues, I think, with that storyline. Now, Divine, he's at work, and he overheard one of the guys talking about making over 20-plus million in one day. So he goes into the guy's office, and he's starting to read this finance book um, on how to work with money and stuff. So hopefully, Divine is able to learn some knowledge and use this knowledge. Um, maybe he can help Bobby with running a label as far as the business side, but I'm glad to see Divine actually doing something positive. Now, your boy, Dennis, he's finishing this Wu-Tang movie, and he's putting two and two together. He's like, man, Shaolin and Wu-Tang, if they combined, if they come together, they are dangerous together. So it makes more sense for them to join forces than anything. Throughout the whole, throughout the whole show, they was making hints of them joining together and being stronger together. So your boy, Dennis, is like, okay. I'm going to put two and two together. He goes and he talks to Bobby. He's like, look, man, you know, they pretty much squashed the little issues they had. And then it's like, look, we got to just work together. Like, I need you. Like, you the captain, dog. Like, what's up? Let's do this. And Bobby explains to him, like, man, I can't really do nothing. I ain't even got my music. You know what I'm saying? Attila jacked me and he's talking about I got to pay him to get it back. Your boy, Dennis, he's on one. And he's a good friend. But then again, he is sleeping with his sister. So, I don't really know about that. But he's like, look, why are we sitting here then? You know what I'm saying? Why in the hell are we sitting here? Let's go get that shit back. And, hey, that's what I would want my boy to do. Like, you going to rob me? We got to go get that shit back. Um, your boy Bobby's like, all right. So they're going to work out some way, a plan to some way, figure out how to get this music back. Um, the two together are dangerous. 
just like they said, Wu Tang and Shaolin is dangerous together. They're about to come together in the season finale and shut shit down. Um, I'm glad Dennis stepped up to the plate this episode, man. Um, we know that the whole Cherie shit is about to come out. For a minute, I thought he was going to go over there and tell him the truth about his sister, but he didn't. I mean, as of right now, the two are back on the same page working together. But we know once that secret comes out, it's going to get crazy. So the season finale is about to be explosive with the secret of Cherie being pregnant. They don't have to go up against Attila. Um, hey, it's about to get crazy out there, man. You guys let me know what you thought about last night's episode. I think it was solid. I think it was a, a good buildup for the season finale that we want to get next week. But if I missed anything, if I messed up, um, let your boy know. Leave it down in the comment section. Let your boy know. But um, overall, I think it was solid, and I can't wait to see what's next. I will catch y'all next week at the season finale, man. But keep supporting your boy, and I will continue to bring you more content in the future. But it's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.